people should definitely follow your Twitter because you explore these questions in a, in a beautiful, profound, and hilarious way at times. No, don't follow my Twitter. I already have too many followers. Yeah. At some point, it's going to be unpleasant. I noticed that uh, a lot of people feel that uh, it's totally okay to punch up. And uh, it's a very weird uh, notion that you feel that you haven't changed, but your account has grown, and suddenly you have a lot of people who casually abuse you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like that, that I have to block more than before. And uh, I don't like this overall vibe shift. And right now it's still somewhat okay. So uh, pretty much okay. So I can go to a place where people work on stuff that I'm interested in. And there's a good chance that a few people in the room know me. So there's no awkwardness. But um, when I get to a point where random strangers feel that they have to have an opinion about me one way or the other, I don't think I would like that. And random strangers because of your kind of, out, in their mind, elevated position. Yes, so basically whenever you uh, are in any way prominent or some kind of celebrity, uh, random strangers will have to have an opinion about you. Yeah, and they kind of forget that you're human too. I mean, you notice this thing yourself that uh, the more popular you get, the higher the pressure becomes, uh, the more winds are blowing in your direction from all sides. And... Um, it's stressful, right? And it does have a little bit of upside, but it also has a lot of downside. I think it has a lot of upside, at least for me currently, at least perhaps because of the podcast. Mm -hmm. Because most people are really good and people come up to me and they have love in their eyes and over a stretch of like 30 seconds, you can hug it out and you can just exchange a few words and you, you reinvigorate your love for humanity. Mm -hmm. So that's an upside. Yes. For a loner, I'm a look because because <laughs> otherwise you have to do a lot of work to find such humans, and here you're like thrust into the full humanity, the goodness of humanity, for the most part. Of course, maybe it gets worse as you become more prominent. I hope not. This is pretty awesome. I have a couple handful of very close friends, and I don't have enough time for them and attention for them as it is. And I find this very, very regrettable. Yeah. And then there are so many awesome, interesting people that yeah. I keep meeting, and I would like to integrate them in my life, but I just don't know how because, um, well, there's only so much time and attention. And the older I get, the harder it is to bond with new people in a deep way. Yeah. But can you enjoy, I mean, there's a picture of you, I think, with Roger Penrose and Eric Weinstein and a few others that are interesting figures. Can't you just enjoy random interesting humans? Oh, very much. For a short amount of time? I'm also, I, I like these people. And I, what I like is intellectual stimulation. And I'm very grateful that I'm getting it. 